Hi, welcome to our introduction to our programmable solution. This is also lesson one in the online course. This video serves two main purposes. First of all, it's a general introduction video. If you just want to know what Stevo's programmable solution and how the system is laid out, this is the video for you. It's going to explain all the basic concepts so you can see how it all comes together. This video is also the first lesson in an online course. And if you continue with the course, you can learn more about Tibo Basic and eventually become a Tibo Basic developer. Now, I want to say something more about the course. The course is actually for non-programmers. It's for beginners. It's for hobbyists. It's for generally curious geeks. And it's also for people who are looking for a video reference, actually, because every episode of the course is concerning a different aspect of Tibo Basic. So if you just want to know about the, uh, say, ROM file object, there's an episode for that. And you can just get the digest or get the main info on the ROM file object by just watching that episode. Now, having said that, the course is not for professional embedded programmers. So if you're a programmer who already has experience, this course might be a bit too basic for you. And what I would suggest for you is to look at our written documentation at docs.tibo.com and also use the context sensitive help within our TIDE or Tibo ID. Cool, so that's what the course is for. So let's just give a moment to all the experienced coders to leave the room. Let's wait. Okay, are they gone? It's supposed to be just us now, beginners and general geeks. Okay, so let's move on. And our first stop is terminology. Let's see what are the basic terms in the Tebow basic world. So, first term is TIDE, which is Tebow IDE. Next thing we're gonna learn about is TEOS, the Tebow operating system. Next we have Tebow basic, which is the language. We have Tebow basic application, hardware module, which is actually the thing which runs your Tibo Basic application, and platform, which is the last part of this lesson. Now, let's check out TIDE, or Tibo IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. So this is actually the Tibo Integrated Development Environment. And TIDE contains everything you need to write, debug, and compile complete Tibo Basic applications. Now, the debugger lets you see what code is doing as it executes. You don't need an ICE machine, you don't need anything expensive like that. You just need a Tibo device and TIDE. That's all. And then the debugger lets you look at variable values, what's executing, what's taking time, what's happening logically in terms of control structures, etc. It's very cool. Next part I want to talk about is TEOS, which is the Tibo operating system. This is actually purpose-built firmware which runs your Tibo Basic application. And TEOS is actually a binary file which gets loaded onto your Tibo device. And it runs your Tibo Basic application. So you might say it's just like Windows but for your Tibo device or like or Linux or any other OS. It's an operating system for your Tibo device. That's TEOS. I hope the system is coming together for you now. You see the different parts. Next part I want to talk about is Tibo Basic. Tibo Basic is a language. It's just like English or Visual Basic or any other programming language. It's a collection of words, a collection of concepts, which is used to program your device. Okay? It has its own syntax, which is based on Basic, but it's really its own thing and it's tailor made for Tibo devices. Next thing you should know about Tibo Basic is that it's object oriented. Now, object oriented means that every part of the device, such as the memory or the network interface, is actually a thing. And each object has properties and methods. Now, these are really basic concepts in object oriented programming. You might have heard of them before, but as we said, this video is for beginners. So, let's talk about properties first. Properties describe an object. So if I have an apple, then I can have a size property and I can also have a color property. And each of these properties describes a different part of the object's appearance or the object's uh, characteristics, shall we say. Now, methods are things you can do with an object. 
So a car object would have a go method. So that's table basic. Table basic is the language itself, how you speak to the device, and how you express yourself programmatically. One of the main design objectives when creating table basic was to make it easy to get started. And you're going to see how we got that done later on. Next concept in this whirlwind tour is Tebow Basic application. Your Tebow Basic project, which is the source for your application, actually consists of several types of files. You have header files, which contain information concerning your program, such as variables which are defined all across the program or file inclusions, etc. You have Tebow Basic files, which are the bulk of your program and they contain the gist of program information like the, the main part of your source code. There's also HTML files which you probably know from the web and these are used by the internal web server of your Tebow device to make data accessible to other devices using web browsers like computers and PDAs etc. And one cool thing about Tebow basic uh, HTML is that it's actually dynamic. You can have basic code inside your HTML pages so they can do stuff to your device and present dynamic information. Last file type in your Tebow basic project are actually resource files. Resource files can be anything. They can be a font for an LCD, a JPEG image, or any other file which is used by your project. And when you compile the project, it becomes an application. And that application, as we said, runs on your device, which brings us to your device. Now, this is called a hardware module, and it's basically any basic programmable TiVo device. And here you can see, for example, the DS1000, which is programmable and has four ports and it's very rugged. And what's cool is that you don't need an ice machine. You just need that TiVo device, but you do need it because the application runs on it, right? Now, last part I want to talk about, last system element I want to talk about actually, is the platform. The platform, you might say, describes hardware capabilities. So here you can see the uh, EM1000 TEV, which is a demo board. It's a very cool board with a lot of functionality, which is used to develop Tibo basic applications. And one of the things it has, as you can see, is an LCD. And that LCD is represented by the LCD object in Tebow Basic, which lets you write strings to it or display graphics on it, etc. Now, here you can see the DS1206. This is also a programmable device, but as you can see, it does not have an LCD. So the platform for that device does not support the LCD object. What this means is that you can actually write code for one platform and have the same code run on another platform with minor changes or no changes at all. And you don't have any overhead of supporting hardware that your actual device does not have. You don't have to carry drivers, so to speak, for hardware elements that your device will not have. So each device type gets its own platform. Okay, that's it. Um, this has been a pretty intense whirlwind tour of the system. Uh, you're invited to go back and review anything that might have gone by a bit too fast. I hope the pace was okay for you. And our next lessons, if you choose to continue on the video course, are going to be very focused. And in each lesson, we're going to be talking just about one thing and covering a single topic. It's not going to be a whirlwind style. This is just kind of an overview to get you started. So thank you for watching and I hope this was interesting. One step at